So all of a sudden, my kid has a leg pain. They have a limp. Well, what you want to think about is, did they have an injury? Um, you know, kids, they're running around, they're banging themselves up, especially just like us, when you first wake up in the morning or you've been sitting for a while, things get stiff. So the first thing you want to do when your kid starts complaining that their leg hurts is take a look. Do you see any bruises? Do you see any swelling? Do you have any redness from where they may have hurt themselves? And then if you don't see that, see if they limber up through the day. Maybe give them some ibuprofen and see if it goes away. If your child has a limp and swelling, definitely go see the doctor. If it's red, hot, definitely go see the doctor. If you know you had a huge injury to the knee or to the ankle and they still have a persistent limp after two, three days, it's probably time to make sure they didn't go see, hurt themselves bad enough that they may need something surgical to fix. Now, oftentimes, what gets these leg pains get blown off as growing pains. And growing pains can be from these bumps and bruises and strains, and they heal, and the kids want you to rub on their legs. And so what do we worry about that? Well, everybody's heard the horror story of somebody getting diagnosed with growing pains, and then they had something terrible like a bone infection or they had a tumor. So how do you reassure yourself as a parent? I mean, you're sitting there, and that's in the back of your head. You can't sleep. Well, there's a couple things. One, growing pains are typically going to happen intermittently. They're going to want you to rub them. They're going to happen in both legs, not necessarily simultaneously, but they've happened in both legs. And you're not going to see anything. If you ever see redness, swelling, warmth, that's not going to be growing pains. And that's something you need to see your doctor for. The other thing is if this pain is persistent, just in the same spot, that's what bone tumors usually present. They usually present as a solitary tumor in one spot. And so this persistent pain in one spot. And that makes you worry more about that. The other thing is they're not going to get better when you rub on it. So kids are going to always have little bumps, bruises, pains, just like we do. Probably even more because they're running and jumping a lot more than we are. But the thing is, is if you have persistent pain and a limp, if they have something that you see like redness, swelling, warmth, that's when you want to go see the doctor. But if they're just complaining and they continue throughout their day and you're not seeing anything and they just want you to rub them and give them some love, that's something that you're fine staying at home and just treating symptomatically.